It's always recommended that the positioner have a full set of gauges installed. It makes calibration much easier and more repeatable between different technicians. With the positioner mounted and tubed to the actuator and the actuator in the minimum signal position, the first step is to set the cam. Make sure that there is no error applied to the positioner at this point. Loosen the cam nut locking screw about two turns and then loosen the cam nut just enough to let the cam move. Turn the cam slightly so that this dark line indicating the zero position is centered on the follower bearing. While holding the cam in position, tighten the cam nut finger tight. The cam should stay in place. Tighten the locking screw to lock the cam nut. If there is a small gap between the tip of the cam and the bearing, then the cam is set correctly. Now we can apply air to the positioner's supply port. If the positioner is tubed correctly, the valve will not move when air is applied. A final confirmation that the mounting is mechanically and pneumatically correct, you can move the balance arm away from the positioner housing using a small screwdriver or your finger, and the positioner should move the valve in the opening direction. And when you release the arm, it should return to zero. The IDP has convenient tabs to clip the leads from your loop calibrator to. Open the rubber cover on the calibration port and apply four milliamp signal to the positioner. Turn the zero screw clockwise until the C plus gauge reads above zero PSI. Turn the zero screw counterclockwise until the C plus gauge just reads zero PSI. You can move the balance arm away from the positioner housing to bump the positioner. Watch the C plus gauge needle, make sure it reaches zero PSI in three to five seconds. Next, apply 20 milliamps to the positioner. The valve should move toward open. Insert your screwdriver into a slot on the span wheel. Turn the span wheel clockwise until the C minus gauge needle reads above zero PSI. Then turn the span wheel counterclockwise until the needle just touches the zero. You can move the balance arm toward the positioner housing to bump the positioner. Watch the C plus gauge needle. It should take three to five seconds to reach zero PSI. Reduce the signal to four milliamps again and confirm that the C plus gauge still reads zero PSI and the calibration is complete. 